Okay, uh, insert. So let's cut that out. And on the insert, let's add an on execute and on, on update. And in the on execute, add the uh, what was in our um, on click event. And we also want to do the same thing and as the add action um, and clear the text. Uh, and then we have to go back to the form on the insert button, change our action to insert and for delete. So cut out our code. Add an on execute and on update. one which occurs when there's nothing selected and we want that same code in our insert on update okay well let's um let, in fact let's even save this let's save it and run it. Okay, that's not working as expected. Why is that? Okay, there's one issue, but I don't think the delete was being unupdated as well. Let's just try that again. Okay, and for our delete, we haven't hooked up. Um, let's go back to the form. Delete. And we've got no action selected. Okay, now it will do as we expect. So nothing's there. Um, add, but delete me, delete. Okay. Okay, excellent. Except we probably want to change our insert uh, to be disabled uh, when there's nothing. Um, so and Okay. That didn't work. What's gone wrong there? Delete update. Oh, not my day. Insert. Update. Okay. A insert, a delete, a add, and finally, oh, 
almost finally. Let's put some brackets around that. Okay. Okay, we're working perfectly as expected. If you could uh, hear a drip, drip, drip in the background, that was just the uh, sweat rolling off my forehead onto the ground. Um, anyway, let's continue. We still have two buttons to do. Uh, let's go to up. And I'll just cut that out and at a begin and end. And go to our up um, action. And on execute, let's paste that in. And in our on update, So item index did it again. Item index not equal to minus one. And item index not equal to zero. And I'll just copy that and go to our down on update and we want it not equal to our to the uh, very last item um, count just count minus one and let's put some extra brackets around that bit okay and go back to our down code on click. Cut all that out. And back to a down on execute. And hopefully. the up action and the down action and uh, if everything is working better than before and they enable and disable as expected which is good and that pretty much brings us to the end of uh, this training movie the list box is useful for many things, hardly any of which we've covered, but we have had a look at some basic functionality, uh, in particular adding, deleting and moving items around. On this slide I've mentioned some of these things, but you're best to learn by getting in and having a go. Thanks for watching, I hope it was useful and stay tuned for more.